bringing in our next guest, Kira Knightley. She has starred right. in everything from Atonement to Pirates of the Caribbean, and now she is taking on beauty pageants in the new dramedy, Misbehavior. Kira, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hello, thank you for having me. Oh, we're so excited you're with us. We know you had your second daughter a year ago. Got to ask about mom yep. life and quarantine. How's it going? It's busy. Uh, yeah, no, it's going really well. I mean, if you hear squawking in the background, then it is my one-year-old who is toddling around. Um, no, it's busy. You know, it's been good. We've uh, nothing to complain about. It's it's been intense. We have um, you know virtual learning with my my five-year-old as well, uh, which was fascinating. Um, and you know, and and we're all okay. So that's the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're surviving. And, and boy, how time yeah. flies! It's been 15. It's the 15th anniversary of Pride and Prejudice, and you were nominated for an Oscar for your role in that. So, what do you remember about that experience? Oh, it was just—it was an incredibly uh, special experience. You know, I made so many friends from it. One of my closest friends, uh, Simon Woods, played Mr. Bingley in it, and, and you know, he still is my closest friend. Rosamund Pike, who played one of my sisters, lives around the corner. So, you know, I mean, it—it—I it, made a lot of friends, and obviously, it was huge for my career. And, and it's a film that's so loved. So, I just feel very fortunate to have been a part of it. Oh, I watch it over and mm -hmm. over and over. I love that film. I am curious. Have you watched your Mr. Darcy, Matthew McFadden, in Succession? Yes. He's so good. I love Succession. He's so good at, and I can't tell you because he's like literally one of the nicest men in the entire world, and he's so awful in that show. I mean, in the best way. So yeah, I mean, actually, last time I saw him, because his wife Keely Hawes is in is in this film Misbehavior. So I saw him when we had a screening for it, and all I could talk about was Succession. I was like, this is the best show ever. <laughs> and and now we're going to talk about misbehavior. And um, it, it tells the true story when women's liberation activists stormed the stage at the Miss World um, pageant. It's been 50 years since that's happened. But what can we learn about it today? Oh, gosh, you know, I think what I was, I, I didn't know anything about it. So it was the women's uh, liberation movement that stormed the 1970s Miss World. And uh, they managed to disrupt the show with flower bombs and things like that. Um, and at the, that point, it was one of the largest broadcasts in the world. It was bigger than the Olympics. Um, and they managed to really put women's rights on the map, I think. Um, I think what we can learn is what I loved about the, the script is that it really shows different points of view. You know, I think that going in, you think I'm just going to be 100 percent on the side of, of the feminists kind of storming this thing. And then I think what I really loved about it was really showing the point of view of the beauty contestants and the opportunities that it was it was giving for those women. So I love the conversation. I think it's a conversation that's really important. And I think it's really important to listen to different points of views, particularly today. And I think that that's what this film does. I love that. And, mm -hmm. and you mentioned you play real life activist Sally Alexander. So let's take a look at misbehavior. We have a clip. I think you women's libbers are just a bunch of killjoys who want to deny the public a bit of innocent fun. Uh. <laughs> we are not attacking Marjorie or any other contestant. We are protesting because this competition symbolizes our exploitation. Now, why should Marjorie have to earn her place in the world by looking a particular way? Why should I? Why should any woman? You don't. He doesn't. Why should we? Mm. Very powerful. Love and Kira, it. I know your character is inspired by wanting to protect her daughter. We just mentioned you're the mom of, of two daughters yourself. Um, yeah. Can you relate? Did you relate to her? Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, I, I think as soon as you have kids, probably before you have kids, you just become incredibly aware of, uh, of all the things that society sort of projects onto women. Um, and so, yeah, I'm very careful with the sort of the content that I show, um, well, mostly my oldest kid. My young, youngest one is not interested <laughs> in at all at the moment, you know, but um, I mean, I, I, I used to be a lot more careful, but since being in quarantine and everything, I think she's probably seen way more than I, I wanted her to see as far as all of the shows on, on various streaming channels. But, um, you know, I do try and give her like positive female role models, definitely. Well, you are certainly among them. We yes. appreciate your time today. Misbehavior premieres Friday, September 25th on all major digital cable platforms. Kira Knightley, thank you as always for being with us today. Thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.